In this video, we'll go through a tutorial of how I use index match formula in Excel as an accountant using real financial data of a company. So the agenda of this video is going to be one, I'm gonna go through why I prefer to use index match formula over a VLOOKUP. And then we'll go through an example of a simple index match formula. And then once we get comfortable with it, we'll jump through an example of a complex index match formula using two criteria for lookup instead of one. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you a practical example at the end of what I use index match formula uh, in my work as a controller in the United States. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Let's begin with the advantage that an index match formula has over a VLOOKUP formula. So what we have here is a data set of the financial information of revenue and profitability of a company uh, from the month of January 2021 and the month of June 2021. And what I'm trying to do here is do a lookup and say, I want to pull in the revenue for the month of March of 2021. So revenue for March of 2021 is in the revenue column here, which is $2.4 million. So I'm trying to pull in this value here if I try to do it with VLOOKUP the problem that I'm gonna run into is that the month column comes after the revenue column typically for this to work in a VLOOKUP I would need to have the month column all the way in the left and then the revenue column is on the right of it and if we try to go ahead and do it so let's say we say equals VLOOKUP and the first argument in the formula is gonna be what is your lookup value well my lookup value is March of 21 comma table of array and that's where my answer lies is in the table of array I'm gonna choose it and then the column index number typically in a VLOOKUP you would put in how many columns how many columns away from your criteria is your answer so typically I would go four columns from left to right but the problem that I have here is that the month is coming after the revenue so even if I count backward and I say one two three four and I'll put in a four I'm going to get an error. So that's not gonna work with a VLOOKUP. That's why I'm gonna use an index match because an index match, it doesn't care where is the criteria that you're looking compared to the answer. It could be the column could be on the left, on the right. It could be looking up row versus another row. It doesn't really matter. And that's the advantage that a index match has over a VLOOKUP. Now let's go ahead and do the same search for the revenue for March of 2021 using the index match formula and you will see that it will work like a charm. So for us to understand index match, it's important for us to break it down into two major components. It has an index formula and a match formula combined together into one formula. So let's go through an index formula first and then we'll talk about the match formula before we go ahead and combine them. So for an index formula, it says equal index it says, what is your array? Now your array is your answer. And the easy way to remember this is that answer and array both begin with letter A. So array is your answer. So now I want the revenue information. Revenue is here. So my array is gonna be this from cell B4 down to B9, right? Uh, then comma, row number. Now for March of 21, the row number is gonna be one, two, three. So as a simple way to do it, you're just gonna type in three and that's gonna bring in the value that you're looking for, $2.4 million, which is the revenue for March of 21. But what you need to do is that instead of having to type in the number three, uh, you want to add in an automation aspect to it. So that's where the match formula is gonna come into play, is that the match formula is gonna bring in the row number three automatically for you without you having to type in the number three. So this is the index component of the, v, of the index match formula. Okay, so now we talked about the index part of the index match. Let's talk about the match formula. So the match formula is a simple one that says match parenthesis lookup value. So the lookup value that we are looking up here is March of 2021, comma. The lookup array. Now lookup array is the array where the answer is. So the answer is gonna be here in the month, right? Comma. Do you want to put it in the match type? Do you want an exact match, which is the case here? Or do you want some sort of a less than or more than or greater than? In our case here, we're gonna use exact match, which is most of the time from the practical use that I've used index match for, it's gonna be an exact match. So would you choose that or type in zero and close the parenthesis, enter, it's gonna give us the value three, 
okay so the match all it does is that it brings in the row number instead of you having to type it in after the index uh, formula so now let's combine the two together and we'll walk through it uh, bringing in the revenue for March of 2021 all right so to combine the two together we'll say equals index it's gonna say what's your array and we said our array is our answer right that's where our answer lies so the array is gonna be the revenue from B4 to B9 comma the row number so instead of row number instead of simply typing in three now we said we're going to use a match so we say match lookup value which is march of 21 and the lookup array which is the array where we're looking up the month comma and it's going to say do you want a exact match less than greater than we want an exact match all right, I'm going to close the parenthesis and close the parenthesis one more time because we have a formula within a formula. We're using a match within an index. So we have to close one more time. Enter. And it's going to bring in the revenue, which is the revenue for March of 21. All right, so now that we've covered a simple index match, let's talk about an example where I want to do a more complex index match with two criteria on a search instead of one. So assume that we are looking up the revenue for the March of 2021, but now instead of revenue, I want to pull in some of the other metrics. I want to pull in maybe revenue budget or gross profit or net income, right? First of all, I want this field to be dynamic. So I'm going to create a data validation that will make it dynamic. So I'm going to highlight myself, go to data, data validation and I'm gonna make it a list so this way I can have a drop-down list so I choose a list and in the source I'm gonna put the cursor in and then choose where my source is gonna be and then I'm gonna click OK and now I have a drop-down where I can select any of the four items that I have revenue revenue budget gross profit or net income so let's say it wasn't revenue before now I'm gonna make it gross profit now let's go ahead and change the index match formula to make it search two criteria instead of one right so we're going to make it search for the month and for the metric in one formula so we're going to say equal index remember before for array or our answer we looked up only the revenue column but now we're going to select this entire array here because we want to make this formula more dynamic to pull in any of the other metrics if we want it so we're going to pull the entire array comma for the row number, instead of putting in a number manually, now we learn better, we will use a match. So match formula, so say match. The first argument is gonna be lookup value. So our first lookup value, we're gonna be using March of 2021, comma, lookup array, where this array exists in our total array. So it exists here, I'm gonna select that. And we'll say comma zero for exact match. We're gonna close it. And we're gonna enter another match, comma, match. Our lookup value here is gonna be the actual metric itself, which is right here, comma. Lookup array, the array for the metric is gonna be here on top, comma, zero for an exact match, parenthesis, and another parenthesis, enter. So now this index match formula has two matches in it. One match is in the criteria of the month and the criteria of the category or the metric. So now if I go ahead and change any of these values, I'm going to change the outcome. So for gross profit, if I change that into revenue, it's going to pull in my revenue number. If I change that into net income, we'll pull up my net income number. I can do the same thing for the months because I made the month also a data validation list that I can choose from and I can change that to whatever I want. And this comes in handy uh, to create uh, KPI dashboards and that segues into the fourth bullet points here on my video agenda, which is what I use this stuff for. So for the most part, I use this for analysis and display on a KPI dashboard. So for example, I'm gonna jump into another tab here for a KPI dashboard that I created and I use index match to bring in, for example, here, I'm bringing in revenue. So revenue based on two criteria, the metric, which is revenue and the month. So I can go ahead and change the month up here and that will be dynamically changing in the output. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link uh, to this file in the description below. Go ahead and download the file and play with it so you can see how I, I put the data together and you can go ahead and actually create your own index match formulas. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend who might be 
needing this video and I'll see you in the next one.